Hi, this is Frank Tamar with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is the 9th of May, 2016. If you'd like to get a copy of my book for free, that free download, just go to endtimesministry.com and you'll see the link there. You can download the book. Uh, today I want to discuss Psalm 83, and you're going to see why. And for those of you who don't know anything about Psalm 83, just briefly, it is a prophecy in the Old Testament found in the book of Psalms, and it describes a last day's war against Israel, and it tells who they are. You're going to see a lot of these names that are mentioned in this article that came out today. And so we know from 1 to 10, as you saw I put on the picture there, what I've done is given you the names of the people who are going to attack Israel. You'll see the Palestinians, the Jordanians, the Saudi Arabians, the Egyptians, the Lebanese, the Arabs and the Sinai, Hamas in the Gaza Strip, the Hezbollah, also in South Lebanon, and of course Iraq in Syria. And so what I want to do is show you this article that just came out because I've been warning about ISIS and watching what ISIS is doing because they're surrounding the nation of Israel. Now, this article came out May 8th of 2016 by the Decafile. ISIS to Israel were coming very soon. In other words, they're going to attack the nation of Israel. And of course, this is what we read about in Psalm 83. And this is what the article says. The last 48 hours, May 7th through the 8th, have seen a major escalation of ISIS threats against Israel, Depkut's file, intelligence and counterterrorism sources report. In a coordinated maneuver by all of the ISIS commands in the Middle East, the terrorist organization simultaneously released at least 10 videos that it said showed ISIS forces on their way to attack targets in Israel. All of the videos refer to Palestinian issue. Now keep in mind the Palestinians are mentioned in the Psalm 83 war. Goes on to say Jerusalem and timing of the attacks. In each one the narrator claims the terror organization did not forget the Palestinians. Of course the Palestinians where are they? They're in the Gaza and that's where we know from Psalm 83 where they're going to be, the enemy, in the Gaza Strip, the Palestinians. So what we're seeing here is identical to what we see in the Psalm 83. Now continuing on. And will not neglect them anymore, describes Jerusalem as a bridge to Islam, and threatens an impending attack, saying we're coming, and coming very soon, accompanied by images of fighters from the ISIS affiliate in the Sinai, and of course the Sinai is part of Egypt, and Egypt is mentioned in the Psalm 83 war. That's why I'm highlighting these names in red. So continue on, it says Sinai are shown. It was not the first time for the ISIS propaganda machine to threaten hostilities against Israel, but it was the first time for the threat to be issued simultaneously from every providence or city where ISIS is located in the Middle East. And of course, if you look at the map, you will see that they're surrounding the nation of Israel. The videos included one from Reykjavik, the ISIS capital in Syria, Mosul, the terrorist organization capital in Iraq, which also is Psalm 83, the Sinai Peninsula, and Egypt, which is also part of the Psalm 83 war. Darna in eastern Libya. Now, Libya is not in the Psalm 83 war. They're in the Ezekiel war, but I highlighted that as red just to show you the same people that are mentioned in both the Psalm 83 and Ezekiel. We see those names, either one or the other, involved in this article. And, of course, it goes on to say in central Libya, where according to Decca's files, counterterrorism sources, ISIS controls a huge... 300 kilometer area including the Mediterranean coast on the coast of Didra. Our sources report that every video contains the following sentences. We know that the Egyptian army is being helped by the Israeli intelligence and the Israeli Air Force in its war against us. 
We also know that the Israelis set up intelligent networks within the population of the Bedouin tribes in the Sinai, and from now on, we will take action against Egyptian and Israeli targets as one. DECA files intelligence sources report that these comments are intended to counter efforts by the Egyptian military to establish anti-ISIS militias among the Bedouin tribe. So in conclusion, what you're seeing here is news showing you the attack that the Lord warned about, where these armies will come together, they will surround the nation of Israel, thinking that they're going to destroy the nation of Israel. What we know from the word of the Lord is, God always tells us things that are going to take place before they actually take place. And this is one of those prophecies in Psalm 83 war, the nations that are becoming against Israel. Now, if ISIS is controlling or they're in the very nations that are listed in the Psalm 83, it doesn't necessarily have to have the Egyptians as a nation coming down against Israel or the Iraqis or the Palestinians or the Syrians. It could be the controlled groups that have taken over territories in those areas that surround Israel. That is also a possibility. So let us watch the news, see what happens, because sooner or later, this attack by these people who are brazen thinking that they're going to control Jerusalem and destroy the Jews and the Jewish nation, the attack is coming. How soon? Only God knows. These people said soon. So. Let's watch the news and watch this prophecy unfold according to what they say in the very near future. Now, it's going to be a major mistake by ISIS when they go after the Jews because they are going to get wiped out. Israel may take a hit, but the nation of Israel will not be destroyed. We know this for sure. How? Because Ezekiel chapter 38 shows us another war against Israel we'll see those Islamic states that do not border Israel try to take out the nation of Israel. So knowing this war from Ezekiel, we know that there's no way that Israel can be defeated because they're still standing when the Ezekiel chapter 38 war takes place. This is Frank DeMora from the End Times Research Ministry. And if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Savior, today is the acceptable day. Don't wait because only God knows how much time we really have left. You don't want to be on the opposite side of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yushia.